To begin the transplant process, you will first meet with your transplant physician team. Our transplant service has many doctors who are all trained and specialize in blood diseases and stem cell transplant. A current list of the doctors is located in your strength binder. Most physicians have a nurse practitioner who works with them. The nurse practitioner may see you with the physician and is usually who you see once you leave the hospital. All of the physicians have a coordinator who manages all of the pre-transplant testing and planning. At the first office visit, the physician decides if a stem cell transplant is the right procedure to help your disease. Once the physician suggests the transplant, you will need to educate yourself and decide if you want to have the procedure. Next, your insurance company needs to be informed. Stem cell transplants are very expensive. We will not go forward with the transplant until your insurance company has given their written consent for approval. At Siteman Cancer Center, we have a team of clinical financial specialists composed mostly of nurses who not only know the treatments, but are extremely well versed in insurance policies and rules. After your first visit with a transplant physician, the doctor informs the financial team of the treatments you need. The team then organizes the information and sends a letter to your insurance company to get a predetermination of coverage for you. If at any time your insurance policy or carrier changes, it is essential that we know immediately so that our financial team can determine if you're still covered. Thirdly, there is a great deal of pre-testing that must be done prior to your transplant. Don't be surprised when you come for your first visit if the physician orders large amounts of tests. These tests help the physician evaluate your body's readiness for transplant. They also may be needed for insurance purposes. At times, your physician will order restaging tests. These help to determine your disease's response to chemotherapy and assist the physician in determining the right type of transplant to perform. Descriptions of what the tests are and why they're needed are outlined in your strength binder. Other appointments you may have before the transplant are based on your disease, the type of transplant you will have, and insurance requirements. Because Siteman Cancer Center is a comprehensive cancer center, we participate in a large number of clinical studies. These studies, a key part of our fight against cancer, are designed to answer specific questions about the safety and effectiveness of new therapies and new ways of using known therapies. Without clinical trials, there would be no progress. These trials provide the best known therapy plus something. It's not that we've thrown something together haphazardly and are testing it in humans for the first time. It's nothing like that. The end result of doing clinical research is to develop better treatments. Better treatments means happier and healthier patients. This research is important to find cures for diseases like the one you have. Therefore, you may be asked to participate in a clinical study. Very few places offer these trials, so you may be eligible to receive treatments that aren't available anywhere else. In order to protect patients, all clinical trials are reviewed and approved by both a scientific committee and a safety committee before anyone can be enrolled. If you decide to participate in a clinical study, you will be fully informed of the details and there will be additional paperwork for you to fill out. Any information gained from the clinical study helps future patients who are going through the same things that you are now.